generic YouTube introduction. Today we're going to be looking at a project called My Genie. This is a social fi project that will be using a token that you can interact with their ecosystem with and this token will run on the IOTEX ecosystem. So My Genie, it's a social fi project aiming to create a social network where you can earn and not only earn from your data, um, you can also earn from doing lots of other things. There's many cool new features that I've never really seen before that they're planning to put on their platform, uh, from delayed messages to private journals that get published when you die, to in incentive ways to share, distribute memories and collate sort of uh, images from parties or weddings. Um, they also have a, a they also branch off with a whole section that goes into digital inheritance which I think is something that's going to be taken a lot more seriously in the future. So yeah, let's get right into it. We're, I'm on the website here. Um, I've gone through the website and all of the information on the website seems to be in the white paper and a lot of these buttons aren't working yet. So I think we take the website as a, a little bit of a work in progress. They do have a Discord if you want to go over the Discord to check them out. And as always, I'm going to be skimming through the white paper, skip, skipping a lot, of, a lot of the sections if you do find this project interesting. Please come and check this out yourself and read through it in depth. So they have a nice little tile page, they've got their summary here, they've got their prelude, which is a nice touching story, but to sort of sum it up bluntly, we're all going to die. Can we upload our minds into computers? Not yet, but my journey brings us all one step closer. So I'm going to read through the introduction now. We'll read some more of the information because I think you know, no one puts it better than the guys themselves. So I'll read this out and then we'll talk about some of the things later on. So we are all too familiar with how current social media platforms function and the unique offerings each one of these more common platforms offer their users. Collect friends and followers, subscribe to your favourite influencers or companies for updates, join or create a community, build, post and repeat. These platforms offer immense value to their users, allowing anyone with an internet connection and a smart device to connect and interact with people and entities around the world. Said platforms offer what we at MyGenie call the Living Timeline. Functions and features that enable users to post, share and interact with other users so long as they are, well, alive. Throughout a user's lifespan, they will experience many of these platforms, create accounts and share some of their most meaningful moments for all to see. This data is used by these large organisations to fuel an economy behind the scenes. Users are shrouded from this reality and, simply put, used as individual data farms for their hive mind overlords. What if a platform existed that did two things these other platforms did not do? What if a platform existed that not only enabled users to get paid for their data, but also, also allowed the living timeline to expand well beyond their physical lifespan? And offer loads of new features and digital inheritance and a bunch of other things, you know. They're very modest there, I think. So my genie will allow users to earn from sharing their data and inherit their earnings to others, social fi. So what is my genie? My genie is a SASS software as a service, mobile first application used to inherit information and digital assets such as videos, messages, photos, cryptocurrencies and more. Users can curate, curate memories to be shared over time, create shared memories and lock them in time capsules, secure, earn and seamlessly inherit digital assets and grow alongside a digital companion that will live on in your name. My Genie will bring on one of the biggest paradigm shifts in our generation. Our easy to use platform will grant everyone the ability to manage and build their digital legacies, earn by using the platform and sharing their data, send messages to the future and inherit their digital assets. So that's a nice intro to give, that's how they word it. Let's get in, look at some of the features. Core cool features, so my messaging, my capsules, my lockbox, I like this. Um, we'll talk about all of these a bit more. My journal, my condolences, my interviews, they don't talk about this one anymore, but I imagine it's, as it sounds, um, different ways to earn. You can stake, you can stake your data, stack your data. Um, the my Genie Hub is more of the community ways to earn. We, we go on some more about that, and then um, later, when, we'll go on some more about that later when they talk about the token, the digital. Inheritance stuff is here again. We'll talk about this a little more, a bit more later. So here we go into detail on some of the features a little bit more. So my messaging delayed delivery service is as it sounds. You can send a message and say, right, I, I want this message to send to everyone. You know, 
when, I, when I'm supposed to be 150 and then a message will get sent beyond the grave you know you can uh, or you can just send it next week or at the end of the week whatever you want so my capsules is a uh, I'll read, I'll read how they word it, but this feature provides a new and exciting way to proctor shared memories with friends and family. Time capsules also provide content creators with a way to store, transfer and or sell their content on an open market to their community. When a capsule is created, its creator will choose how long it remains open, who can contribute and how long it will be locked. Once the capsule locks, an NFT will be minted for each contributor. This NFT will act as the key to all the data stored in the capsule. Can we withdraw them from our platform? to be stored for longer periods while the capsule matures. Various other parameters can be applied to the capsule which enables the ability to create customizable experience for those involved. My capsules NFTs are XRC721 tokens and will be live on the IOTEX blockchain. So yeah, if, if you had, uh, obviously, if, you were, if your family were using this as their social network or your work were, you could have a work event, family event, graduation, uh, holiday with a family holiday and anyone on the holiday anyone at the event who was given access could be uploading their photos and their pictures and then their memories and their videos whatever it is into the capsule or an influencer could do the same thing and then obviously because everything's nft everything's monetized everyone everything has an ownership this can then be uh, it's going to be monetized i suppose i i, I think I, uh, I used that before i never meant to so my lockbox um, it's basically where you store all of your password all of your online information blah 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 and the, the, the biggest thing you can do if you store all here is, is when, when you die it can all get passed down seamlessly um, yeah come read it all um, this is another cool feature which I think you know, w one thing that makes makes things go go very viral is, is ease of use you know if something's inherently easier everybody will start using it and if they do bring out this so we, we are aware that passwords do not last forever it's best, pra best practice to change your passwords every six months this is why my lockbox will also serve as a password management tool users will be able to automatically generate strong passwords autofill login pages and modify some of their most valuable inherent inheritable information in real time passwords of your loved ones receive can and will always be up to date with my lockbox so basically you store your passwords in my lockbox or your logins it gives you really secure passwords autofills them all online you don't have to do anything and then if you do sadly pass away it automatically sends those to your children so if you do have a, a really big facebook page um you know uh, online banking whatever it is um it just gets passed on you know a, a login to, to a business account or something so my journal we mentioned this briefly before but it's basically a journal and when you die it publishes nice thing on your timeline for everybody to see of your journal a nice story of your life my condolences this is cool so if you do die your your page turns into a condolences page so if you look on facebook now they have lots of like ghost pages and uh you don't want to delete them because that just seems like bad luck seems horrible but yeah if it does can turn into a condolences page solves that problem and it also helps people say goodbye so users who opt into condolences will have their my genie profile automatically converted into a condolences page where friends and family can leave messages for all to see executors of the deceased will be granted permissions over the feed to moderate comment back and ultimately download and store store this page so this just stops trolls basically um features <laughs> this just kind of scares me so feature with ai that allows the recently passed to also comment on posts from the beyond <laughs> so we are getting closer to uh living beyond our means with ones and zeros so this to here is to do with the digital inheritance now i'm not sure exactly how all the digital inheritance is going to work but they um seem to have some idea so they've split it into two sections um the top section is seems to be accounts passwords websites i imagine if you have like an e-commerce store you know and then the bottom would be actual um i call them physical digital objects but you know so cryptocurrencies nfts etc so that's the difference between the two and i there's a, i imagine you know you can sort of pass these on in a smart contract but it's finite so you want to be 100 percent sure before you press go i imagine there'll be some kind of confirmers to confirm your death kind of like uh, they have executors to manage a page 
and then this will be the same thing but it's all stored in a different way you have your logbox etc let's take a look at the genie token so they plan to release a token it's going to be a xrc20 token on the iotex network uh, users will eventually be able to use iotex coins and genie tokens on our platform to enjoy the social features stake and earn increase account storage capacity not 100 percent sure what that means inherit digital assets through dds capsules and more buy vanity items and upgrades for their genie modify our ai engines buy vip status and my genie wishes slash energy i'm not sure what that bottom bit means but i'm sure we will learn more about that when the app comes out um, there'll be a total supply of 10 billion of this 10 billion 60% is going to the foundation of that 60% 1.5 bill is going to the founders uh, one bill is dedicated to a scaling and growth so these tokens can be used for hires across the company use as bonuses for current team members oh yeah these are vested so they'll be unlocked over three years at the end of each year so I'm guessing that's every December maybe um, another million for development just says a reserve pool for development another bill for marketing reserve pool for marketing and then the company reserve 1.5 bill which it says it's going to be prov providing emergency liquidity mitigating dilution additional drops development and growth etc and then the rest of the tokens so the other 40 percent is going to the dedicated to the community which is a very large portion these tokens can be earned passively and or by simply using the MyGenie platform and participating in the various social five features, most of which will be available at launch time. So of these 40%, which is four bill, we'll go from the bottom this time, we've got one bill for in-app incentives. So it's just completing incentives, grant them immediate Genie tokens. So it's just gonna be like daily tasks. Social five rewards, another bill. Um, compensated with genie tokens the longer you have social fine enabled so this is like the selling the data um, staking reward staking it you get interest it's going to be 16 percent first year 10 percent second year two percent for two percent down a year then for the remaining five years um, the delegate airdrop so the, my genie community have a node so let's have a look at their node a second so they currently are 100% blended share so that means they give all of the rewards back to their people this makes them 4.19% which is the highest you can be you notice they're top three but all three are 4.19 so this means they're the highest payout node you can be until you're a consensus node where you're getting the iotex bonus of 80 iotex per epoch from the iotex foundation so if you do have tokens and you're not staked to a node Take over to this node it's the highest paid and consensus node even higher than some of the consensus node nodes down here definitely worth doing if they were to become a, a consensus node i think they need 50 bill total so about another you know 90, uh, 90 46 47 bill a uh, million sorry um then they would probably up, be up here on higher than four point uh, six point four seven so they would be the highest paying Thing. so yeah if you do have spare tokens get them over to the my genie delegate pool um, and then another 250 mil of the community tokens are just going to be issued before launch to voters of our iotex node so get on their node you not only is it going to be the highest paying node once everybody jumps on it you will also get genie tokens and you get airdrop tokens as well so if you if you do have you do have iotex that you're staking get it over to the MyGenie node um, they give a brief overview of the team here you can come and have a look um, you can also check out people on Twitter etc uh, they give a brief statement about risks which I won't read in because we all know about risks they give a roadmap which they've already been progressing through nicely you can see the team's been getting on with lots and lots of work you can see I mentioned the node again here um, yeah lots of stuff they've got their halo grant the first grant is the next page where we come on to the things we want to talk about so uh i think it was a few days ago they released their closed alpha release so this is done now uh there's a lot more stuff going on you can see where's it gone 
this here I, I'm not a tester because I'm not on iOS and they're only doing the, the test for iOS right now but a lot of the features you can do already prepare and schedule all your messages for family and friends create and store memories so a lot of the features are already enabled on the app they already have known issues which means they've done plenty of internal testing the team have really clearly smashing on with lots and lots of work so very good I cannot wait for Q1 of 2023 when they do launch the open bear and I can access it on my Android device and I'll probably try and do another review similar to this one where we actually look at the app and not just read through the white paper um, then it goes on to give them their socials gives their Twitter Instagram discord you, know, you wonder what to do with those that's the end of the white paper so just an overview my genie social fine network lots of new clever um, new features that potentially could take social networking by storm they branch off into the inheritance sort of side of things which is something that people need to be thinking about more in the cryptocurrency space and again just th this could go big outside of iotex like if with the right marketing and facebook's dying um, a lot of people are looking for like I, I had a birthday party the other day and i took loads of pictures loads of really lovely photos and i don't really want to post it on facebook because nobody really uses it anymore but you know I, if if my genie i could post it on my genie and all my friends are on my genie and it's locked and it reminds people i could release it in years you know maybe there's a whole market that could be pushed into there and it might even bring a lot of people into into iotex you know iotex might not bring people into my genie my genie might be one of those projects that brings people into iotex it might be the other way around so yeah i'm excited to see some of the new things they've got to offer i will definitely be checking in early next year a couple of times trying to get that uh that app when it gets released on android i'm gonna pull it to an end there so thank you all for watching um i look forward to doing another video on this early next year hopefully when i can uh, access the app so yeah well done my genie team look forward to using your stuff in the future uh, thanks everyone for watching i'll see you next time